Um, so this is where you're going to stand as down ref depending on who has the serve. Um, so if they're serving from that side, you're going to be standing here. And the main areas you're going to want to be watching are going to be this right here, this line, and then this team over here that's receiving the serve. So the reason you're watching this line is because you're trying to see if people who are here are blocking or going to hit that net, go over this line. You want to see what they're doing and then you want to see what this team is doing when they receive. Your main area that you're focusing on as line judge and pretty much the only area you're looking at is going to be this line on this area and then like I said, whichever side you're on. Um, that's really, really important to pay attention to. If we come out here, we shouldn't see somebody serving over there and your eyes going up and watching the ball come down. Because that's not what you're doing. You're not ball watching. Neither of you should be ball watching, but the only person whose head should really be moving with it is going to be your up breath. Um, your main area is just watching the line here and watching this line here. Everything else is primarily going to be her call. Like she said, if you see something and she misses it, like if you see a net violation, you can call it. Um, you're still out here, but pretty much, hey guys, make sure we're looking, thank you. Make sure we're looking at what's going on um, in this general area. We don't want you guys down here blowing your whistle every five seconds, um, but definitely call it big things you see. Pay attention to the antenna. Um, like she said, when you're up ref over there, you're not really going to see what's happening to the antenna over here. Um, so you just want to make sure you're paying attention with that. And then um, check for like blocking team fouls. So kind of watch like what's going on in this area. So if they're trying to block right there, like we said, if it goes past their fingertips, it doesn't count as a hit. It goes over here. Make sure that you kind of eye and let them know. Also make sure you are following those crisp mechanics. Um, with the up breath, so whatever they're doing, they should do. However, if it was out in this point, this team is supposed to get the point, they accidentally point that way, make sure you're still watching the game and paying attention so you can kind of correct that, put your arm out, and then they might see you and know what's going on and switch. Um, if you guys are both pointing this way and it wasn't this point, like this team's point, they might start yelling at you a little bit. So just make sure you are still keeping track of the game. Just because you have an up breath and you're not really doing a lot doesn't mean you should just stop paying attention altogether. Um, your other big main thing is going to be with subs. So we don't free sub out here, kind of like indoor soccer. Um, they can just run on. For this one, it has to be stopped. It has to be on a dead ball. Um, it has to be on a serve. So make sure that when they come out, they let you know they can stand right behind there. Don't let them in the court, but just let them stand over here. And then whenever it's time to sub, you can put your hand up, blow your whistle, and then roll, and that lets them know that they're subbing. What's our practice? We're subbing. Oh, okay. Blow your whistle, point up, and then rotate. Yeah. So make sure same gender is going on and off. Um, so with Corac, make sure that if a girl's coming off, that a girl's going on, or if a guy's going off, a guy's coming on. We have to maintain the three and three. Also make sure that Caroline's just not like running out there and like grabbing her person. They need to be coming off at the exact same time so that we don't have too many people. Um, as down ref, you need to let up ref know if they're not really paying attention when the substitute is over. So you can just drop your hands, look at them, give them a thumbs up, and say you're ready to start again. Um, but make sure you know which side is still serving. They should have the ball. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, so you guys are going to be keeping score of the match. So if we don't have a scorekeeper out here, what we'll do is we'll give you that score sheet that you guys saw yesterday on the PowerPoint. You'll have a pen and you'll just be tallying down every point that somebody gets. And then you will let your up breath know when you're at 20 so that they know when it's the set point and you guys can circle which team is winning and losing. Um, so just make sure you're keeping track with that. When we go outside for, the only time this is gonna be different is for sand volleyball, it's just gonna be one of you. Um, so you guys will each be in charge of your own area. So you're gonna be up ref and down ref outside. Um, the last 
thing is just make sure you're looking for illegal rotation. Technically, both of you should be doing it. Uh, make sure you know who served last time. Make sure you know who's serving this time. Um, just so we don't have the same three girls serving every time because they're the best servers and the other girls never played before. Um, just make sure that you know where they're going. It's not going to happen a lot, but it's definitely happened to me. Sometimes you're going to have teams that are really, really good and they'll line up the right way and then as soon as the ball's served, they're just going to switch positions. Half of them are going to come up here, half are going to go back there. You may not know who is in the front, who is in the back. Um, so just kind of keep track, remember shirt colors, things like that, because remember back row attack is still active. So if they come, came from the back, now they're up front, and they go up and they try to spike the ball, that's a back row attack. Um, so that's kind of the last thing you're going to be looking for. Remember with the line that if your foot's right here, that's not a line violation. A line violation is when the majority of your foot is going past. So it's different than serve. Your toes can touch this line. Um, just for this one, but once that foot's all the way over, that's a violation. If someone goes under the net, that's a violation. If my arm is swinging out, that's a violation. So just make sure that you're paying attention to what's happening. Do you guys have any big questions about down ref, how to do subs, gender rules, anything like that? All right, we're gonna move on. Stay there. Actually, let's all line up on.